I'm Mad Matheson, and welcome. Yeah. Ah! Today on Cooking Something, we're gonna be doing something really special. Something that means a lot to me, that probably means a lot to you. How many times have you gone out of a bar late at night, hammered, dumbass drunk, falling all over the place, and you stumbled inside of a kebab shop, a swarma shop, you're getting a chicken shawarma, you're getting lamb kofta, whatever the heck you're getting, you're eating. It's delicious, it's incredible. It's things that I love eating. I don't go out and drink anymore. I go in there in the daytime, polite. Trisha says I compliment all the time. Very chill. We're gonna be making a beautiful mixed lamb chicken shawarma, okay? Let's go to that right now. Take a look. Get it, man. Yeah, go, go. All right, here we go. What I wanna do is spatchcock my chicken. I wanna cook it nice and flat. We got our spine here. Cut down the spine. Now we're gonna cut through the breastplate. We can take our knife and we're gonna just make a little inc Oh, raw chicken now, we're all gonna die. Rib meat's out. We don't want that, okay? Using your knife, pulling away, get to that wishbone, un momento. Once again, I'm not the best butcher in the world, but you know, we can get it pretty, we can get it pretty good, you know? And the bed! Here we go, we got our chicken. We're gonna make a little bit of a paste here. We got some garlic powder. I'm gonna add a ton of oil. We got some onion powder in. What's that one? Cardamom? We got some cardamom. We got a little bit of ground clove. That's paprika. Got some paprika in there. We got some Urfa beeper pepper. Throw that in. Oh yeah. Look at this mixture. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna season the chicken with some salt. We're gonna get our little sauce now. Now just take our hand. We're gonna rub this all in. This is good. We're gonna take it, we're gonna flip it over. We're gonna take this and just pour it all the way over. Oh yeah. And now we're gonna put that into an oven. See you later. Like a little bad kitty cat. I'm gonna go wash my hands. We're gonna do the lamb. We're gonna get that in the oven. We're gonna keep rolling, okay? See you soon. Let's go. I told you, I'm just, you know, we're here. Now we got our lamb. We're gonna take a little bit of oil. I'm gonna put just some whole fennel seed on it. Nice little spermolinkling, some white pepper. This fat is gonna really render out and really be very, very seasoned. Some cumin, a little bit of that. Some salt goes a long way. Fresh cracked pep. Into the oven, we're gonna roast this as well. 375. We're gonna do a little bit of a tidy up. We're gonna make some sauces. We're gonna cut up some vegetables and we're gonna get ready to create a really great dish that you're gonna be able to slam to the face a lot of different occasions. You get married. Before you go walk down the aisle, grab one of these, shove it down your crawl hole. You're gonna have a great day. You're sad, nobody wanted to dance with you at that wedding. You know, you're the loner over there in the corner. You go eat one of these, guess what? You'll have a friend for life. So relax, I'm gonna come back, we're gonna do some nice skill work, and I'm gonna show you how to slice and dice. We'll see you soon. Yo, what's up? Who gives a f The lamb's done. For something like this, I kinda do want it to be more like well done. Well done doesn't have to be torched and rat f to death. When you take them out, they are still cooking. Food keeps cooking until it is cold. The residual heat's gonna take it to a place. We're gonna let that rest well. Now, let's cut up some stuff. Tomatoes, parsley, long peppers, pickles and jalapenos, red onion, uh, cabbage. We're gonna just dice these up. Nice and simple, as easy as it gets. Yeah! Almost got me there. You know, my dream really is to get to the place where in my life, I can kind of open up just like a, a little sandwich shop where it's just me. Just me, you walk in, and I'm like, what do you want? And they're like, I'd like a lamb chicken shawarma. And I'd be like, okay, what do you want on it? That's my dream. Not really, I guess. I don't think that's my dream at all. Welcome to Marty's Shawarma Hut. We're gonna be open soon. So right now, what we're gonna do is try to make a classic red shawarma sauce. First thing we're gonna do is get a pan, hot. We are gonna slice our onions and fry them up until we get a little bit of color. We're gonna take some of these peps, slice these up. We're gonna throw these in with the onions. 
Cooking it up. We want a little bit of color. We want these to get nice and soft. Once again, this induction burner blows chunks, but that's okay, because guess what? Everybody at home probably has an oven that blows chunks too. So we're all out here blowing chunks, trying to make some food. Isn't that special? Add about like four cloves of garlic, throw that in there. We are gonna add half a cup of sugar. Seems like a lot. It is. We're gonna stir that up. Half a cup of apple cider vinegar. We're gonna add some lemon juice. A tablespoon of turmeric. Some paprika. We're gonna add in our tomato paste. And then we're gonna blend it up. Ah, that's hot. Ah, yeah! Okay, now we blend it up. These f***ing blenders suck. Well, doesn't that smell delicious? Holy shit. Fresh cracked pep. I'm gonna add more lemon juice. Let's adjust. Cooking, adjusting, making things taste good. Let's break it! Ah! I'm sure it's pureed, I, you know. Take a little nibble. That's something. So we're gonna cool that down. Next, we're gonna make a little garlic sauce here. We got sour cream, what's this, yogurt? Sour cream. We got sour cream. We got mayonnaise. Juice from some of the, oh, throw some seeds in there. Mix this up. Oh yeah. Okay, take your garlic. We're gonna do cloves in here. Salt. Mmm. Oh. Is there anything better than raw garlic? Raw garlic is good. Sauce is done. We made it through there. That was like a. We're gonna put together one of the best mixed grilled shawarmas you've ever seen. Probably that you've never seen. You've probably seen a lot better actually. But this one is mine. We're gonna keep it going. We're gonna check on our chicken. You wanna check on the chicken first? Come check on the chicken. It was paused. Okay, I'm gonna put the broiler on. It's at 500 degrees, but it's not at 500 degrees. The bottom oven is! This is so confusing. So the bottom oven is ripping. I've done this, you fucks. 500, give me something to fucking. Upper oven. Cancel both of them. Start fresh, upper oven. People are trying to fuck with me. Roast. High heat now, fuck out of here. 500, start. I need to get ready for service. There's gonna be a bunch of drunk losers coming in here asking for shawarmas. So I'm gonna see you soon. We're gonna get ready. We're gonna have our sauce. We're gonna fry some French fries. We're gonna roast the this chicken. We're gonna start making sandwiches. It's gonna be the best night of your life. Strap the on. Strap on. Strap on. Bah! You know, I need somebody like this. I need somebody like that. I wish there was a job out for me like this. Guess what? ZipRecruiter's gonna bring both of those parties together. ZipRecruiter is the smartest way to hire. It uses this powerful technology to find and match up the right candidates for the right job. I'm a busy person. Writing cookbooks, running restaurants, clothing. I can't do it by myself. I have an incredible team. So pretty much I have like the boss of all bosses. Then I have somebody that is a logistics manager. Somebody Somebody that puts all of the logistics of every single meeting, every single happening, every single vacation, every single meeting, every single everything. You can easily review these recommended candidates and invite your top choices to apply. It's like if you own a growing company and need to hire ZipRecruiter, makes hiring so much easier because they do the work for you. And right now, you can try it for free. ZipRecruiter.com slash Maddie. The hardest thing you have to do is to remember my special URL, ZipRecruiter.com slash Maddie. That's where you go to try ZipRecruiter for free. Zip up your life, have a great day. The ovens were set at wrong temperatures. The lamb cooked fine, but the chicken was taking quite a long time. And I realized I was putting the bottom oven on. Oh, it's preheated now. Or did I just turn it off? I just turned it off. You f I'm having an old oven, you just turn it on, hey? Eh? I'm archaic. You wanna see something nice though? This lamb is gonna be really nice. Do you want a nice little lamb, a quick little lamb? Look at this, watch this. Oh, I'm sorry, is that perfectly cooked? Oh, shit. Is that perfectly roasted lamb? <sighs> Does anyone want to try a piece of this? Here, Melia first. Look at this guy. Thank you. Here, who else would like to try a little slice? Would you, oh, Peyton, would you like a slice? 
Is that good? Yeah, that is some lamb. A lot of people don't like lamb, so that's the thing too, is like if you don't like lamb, just eat the chicken. In five minutes, my chicken will be done. Then we have to let it rest. Let me tell you something. Get it into trades work. Let me tell you a secret. We need people that can fucking make HVAC. You make hella money. Open the oven up, blast your face off. This is fucking real good. Okay, so I'm gonna chop up the lamb. We're gonna take it off the bone here. We're just gonna slice it, then we're gonna chop it up. All that good shit, all that rib meat, all that loin, all the, oh my God, look at this. That beautiful cuisson. Okay, so now we literally just wait for that. We can do the french fries, good call. So 360 degrees, we're going high. Somehow a noise is being made by the AI technology. It's communicating with us. Citizens of the earth, you will be destroyed. It's like a fucking dolphin. Okay, here we go. We're at temperature. Let's make some french fries. Let's see. You will be destroyed. We are getting there. Fries are getting crispy. Good things take time. That's a frozen one. So french fries are done. Hammer it with salt. We're getting there. You know, we always get there, don't we? It's like, how do we get there? Cooking. We cook our way out. It feels good. Should we tell her french fry? Love a salty french fry. It's like it just came out of 360 degree frying oil. Here we go. Every time you make a meal, it's like a giant cavernous hole. You strap on your little spelunking gear and you go down into those and little crevices and you tuck yourself in and you go deep and deep and deep and then all of a sudden all the light disappears and you're like, where am I? And then we come out. We always come out together. We always come out with delicious food. Look at this. And we mix the lamb all together. That's real good. Okay, here we go. We're getting there. Okay, here we are. We got our mixed meats. We're gonna start rolling up some si and we're gonna start rolling up some shawarmas. We got that mixed chicken, lamb, shawarma, Coming to your fing face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little sip of water. Okay. All right, everybody. Let's calm down. Let's build it up. Lamb, chicken. We got our onions, tomatoes, cabbage, pickled jalapenos, couple fries. We got our garlic sauce. We got our beautiful donut red sauce. Okay, here we go. Just me, you walk in, and I'm like, what do you want? And they're like, I'd like a lamb chicken shawarma. I'd be like, okay, what do you want on it? That's my dream. That's it. Should we take a bite? Mm. It's so good. If you ever have to have this, then you all see what's going on. It's incredible. This is really good. Mm. And you make this for all the good homies. When you come home from the bar, and all the good homies just start kissing on each other. And they just sit there and they just start kissing. And you can't stop it because that's love. And that's what these do. You know, cooking something. Who would have thought? Go grab yourself a lamb chicken shawarma. Have a beautiful day. Cook it some. Goddamn. Perfect. Really good.